the button. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to purchase. Come on, some good cards. I don't even know what's good in this set. I didn't look at it enough. So there's probably going to be a lot of reading involved here. Just a heads up. Non-toy creatures attack a player, create a toy. Base power and toughness equal number of toys you control. This seems really good. <laughs> seems very good. Begin your end step, draw a card. If you control a demon, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. Otherwise, I lose life. Interesting. You may mill two. Put them onto the battlefield. Tapped. It's a land. Yeah, there's this this green white band of things up here. Possibly a splash of blue for a Zamone. Maybe even enduring curiosity. I don't know. We'll have to see what the mana fixing looks like. Can't be blocked. Choose one that hasn't been chosen. So it starts as a 1-1, one, one, becomes a 3-3, three, three, draws a card, and then it becomes a copy of a creature you control with 1-1 one, one counters on it and can be blocked now, huh? <clears throat> so if that first time I hit them with this guy, like say I play it on turn 2, I attack in turn three. I decide to pick the bottom chapter here. The silent hall creeper becomes a copy of another target creature you control. If I don't control another target creature, does he just stay out on the battlefield? Is a like does that that bottom ability doesn't resolve, right? And I've already chosen it, so I don't have to pick it again. I could just have a 3-3 unblockable. Yeah, I'd imagine so too. I, I could be wrong on that one, but I think that's how that works. The mana of any color is going to be really good for helping us fix here, so... Beginning with second main phase, if he is tapped, reveal the top X cards of your library where X is his power. Any number of creatures and or vehicles with different powers and loan them into my hand. Ah, uh, the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. Yeah, I don't know. Even with you uh, hitting the ghosts with your plasma cannon here, you know being a ghostbuster i don't think i want to play you you're just gonna be a four four but any number of creatures and or vehicle cards with different powers <laughs> yeah i don't know maybe that might be able to get a couple more cards interesting Whenever an enchantment you control enters, and whenever I unlock a room, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. That seems pretty legit. Three 1 1 counters possess goat, and it becomes a black demon in addition to its other colors and types. Activate only once. Huh. Why do I like that so much? That, that seems really good. Hey, look, it's Casper. It's a lifelink. Oh, removal. All right. That's that's pretty good. Tap target creature, stun it. When you unlock this door, put a wall encounter on each 
two target creatures. That's a lot of one plus one counter synergy. And white already for me. That's that's pretty decent, I feel. Whenever you attack, creatures you control get one plus one until the turn. I don't even have to attack with the Lionheart Glimmer, it's just whenever I attack. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, Dollmaker's Shop is going to be in this if we're playing any form of white for sure. Yeah, more removal on white. Holy crap. White is really strong already. Whenever you manifest dread, put a card you put into your graveyard this way into your hand. Ooh, manifest dread now draws a card instead of throwing it in the graveyard. This thing is going to be really, really good if you're in the manifest stuff. Wow. Alright, we're going to Silent Hall Creeper in. That just seems like a really good card to be playing. Curiosity is amazing. The Megalodons are great for the uh, Island Cycling. Can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Maybe. The 3-3 three, three that unlocks Defender and can attack that is... Sometimes pretty good just because it's under costed most of the time, but not being able to attack all the time could be a big downside. Get something unblockable, removal, removal. Interesting. Yeah, I'd play it. Oh, and I got two of them. When you unlock this door, manifest dread, put a 1 1 counter on that creature. Yeah, that would be played. Draw two, make a glimmer. Man, I would just play all the blue at that point, huh? All that blue synergizes really well together. Vengeance, yeah, it's removal, recursion, 2-2 two, two lifelink, more card types in your graveyard, each opponent may sacrifice an online permanent or discard a card, then Osseus Stick Twister deals damage equal to its power to each opponent who didn't sacrifice a permanent or discard a card this way. Beginning of your end step. So it doesn't even have to attack. It just needs to be out on the battlefield and you need delirium. <laughs> and then they either have to sacrifice or he deals damage equal to his power. And because he has a lifelink, you still gain the life. Interesting. And that that's going to kill a lot of people. This guy right here. They're not going to see it coming. The Hall Creeper, I can't do the cheat thing. I, I can't pick another target creature if I don't have another target creature. That's... That's lame, but I mean, it makes sense. If I was going to do it the way I wanted to do it, that would just be straight up cheating. Like having a 3 3 unblockable just turn four? <laughs> no. I mean, murder is good removal. Resurrected cultists. Graveyard of the battlefield of finality. Seems okay. Is creature died this turn. We get a 4 4 death touch for 4, otherwise, it's 3 3 death touch for 4. Still not that bad. Choose one or more instead. 
So there's definitely a delirium thing happening in there. That's pretty cool. I don't know that I got enough of it, though. Leave the graveyard, the cadaver lab. Uh, what is uh, the defiled crypt cadaver lab? It's such a good card. Help me in pre-release. Fear of the dark. Live or die. Destroy or reanimate. Swamp cycling. Discard a card. Yeah, pretty good. Unlock. Draw to lose. All right. So whenever creature control attacks alone, gains death touch. That's pretty good. There's the demon thing. And I, I kind of want to just because I'm a black player, but I don't think we should. Dies, exit the top card. Ooh, good pyroclasm, scorch dragon fire. We got the malfunction. Most valuable slayer earns his name for sure. Four four haste for five. Whenever you attack, create a one one gremlin creature token. What? Human Clown Berserker makes gremlins. This seems silly. I'm sad that we're not going to be playing red. Some removal in red. Manifest. Whenever you attack, target attacking creature against double strike. That seems like it could be pretty good. And it's just a common, huh? Man. One or two target untapped creatures you control. They each deal damage to power target creature opponent controls. I don't like that I have to tap to fight, but what are you going to do about it? Delirium. Can't attack or block unless there are four or more card types in your graveyard. Beginning your upkeep, you may mill a card. That might be cool if we could actually see what we were milling. Death Touch, all right. Manifest Dread is pretty simple, straightforward. Twitching Doll is good mana fixing. Man, Break Down the Door is gonna be really good in this format, just being able to destroy the multitudes of artifacts and enchantments. I don't even think you're gonna manifest a Dread most of the time with this, you're gonna use it as removal kill a creature or a room that you're having trouble with. It's a 1-1 one, one every time we flip the Manifest Dread. Base Glan card, Delirium, it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. And there might be a green-black Delirium deck in this pile, huh? We might be able to put together a blue-white enchantment deck and play a little bit and then go do the green-black and test that out, too. Yeah, blue-white. <laughs> blue-white. <laughs> yeah, there's the green-black. There is green-white. I might be able to splash... There's just so many good blue cards. I don't know why I would splash blue at this point. The land entered under your control this turn. You control a prime number of lands. Create Primo. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Bear trap seems decent, just colorless removal. 
Hello, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Just looking at the new set, reading a bunch of cards, trying to get our first sealed going. How are you doing? So I think we're going to take out the white, actually, after all of that. <laughs> Perfect. Clobbering. Is fine. I think we take the manifest. Um, under the skin, Zamone. Then, if I really want to get crazy. We can add the land and add a couple of white cards in, like the Glimmer. A doll Gallery. too crazy into the white stuff but I do think the doll gallery is going to be worth splashing I probably don't necessarily need the inquisitive glimmer at that point although we do have a decent amount of enchantments at 8 I might just play it just because it's a fox glimmer. Given us the good old 17 lands. I don't know that we're going to need to go that route completely. Creature gains death touch. That'll help with some of the little guys getting in. Draw two, hit the enchantments. He's gonna let us draw cards. Hmm. <coughs> I, I like it all too much. We're just going to give it a go at 41, see what the band does. If we don't like it, I'm probably going to go back in and cut. I don't know. I liked what the blue-white was looking like. I want to try out the green-white stuff. There's just so many different things we can do. <laughs> uh, all right well i mean we're in a good position here getting all three colors in an opening hand three mana is great or 
we're gonna keep that. Thank you for doing the mod thing. We appreciate it. Uh, how about surveil? Is it a land? No, it's not a land. Is it something that I really, really want? Yeah, I think I do. I want that. Having something with a big butt like that seems pretty good. Um... Let's drop the burrower. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch, tap two on target creature, put stun counters. I mean, we're doing all right, but I would like to draw just one more land. That would really set my deck up. All right. In game one, you just curve out and your opponent does not curve out with you. That was that was a really fun game of magic. <laughs> How come I didn't get the smiley face, sad face for that one, huh? Did you have fun? No, my opponent did nothing. <laughs> they played three lands and quit. <laughs> There's two mana and a hall creeper. I unlock surveil two, so we gotta turn one play even. I mean, I don't know that I should, but I'm gonna. So, islands. We're gonna surveil two. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not even upset that they unfollowed. Let them be salty. Yeah, we want both of those cards. In that order, even. Alright, so we're gonna drop... The Hall Creeper? And then... I guess the Flush Brower, because we don't really have anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, kill it. That's fine. That is so absolutely fine. Hi, opponent. How are you doing? Still get to draw. Yep, you get yours, I get mine, I draw a card, we're all happy. Um t -t 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 I think no. Cancel. I want the shredder down. Bestie. I'm gonna crew here. I'm play a land, I guess. Unlock. Oh, we would. Uh, 
you get Death Touch. That's fine. Yeah, I'm all two cards. I mean, it's working. This is nuts. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Uh, you didn't get to count. You set up for a counter spell, and I didn't play anything for you to counter. How sad. That's fine. I'm not even upset. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Um, there's a crew one on that. So let's. Manifest Dread you. Get my land back. Play my lands. We're gonna play the Dollmaker Shop. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh man, the value. We're just going to roll with this. This is doing so much better than I thought it was going to do. And I kind of want to see Primo. Like, that's that's my goal right now is to get a Primo onto the battlefield. <laughs> Cheap viewers, huh? Thanks. Nagging rumor. What a fun name. <laughs> uh, oh man, you're so fast at it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to keep this. <laughs> well, let's go with the watchdog. Flesh Brewer. Da, 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 da. Nah, you can go to the graveyard. We don't need you. We don't need you. Oh. Well, now. I think with that, we're going to Megalodon, so we have four mana to cast Primeval, or the Paranormal Analyst, and then Manifest Dread. I think that's what I'm going to do. Dude, it is turn three, and you still have not put anything to the field? That's bad limited play. Bad limited play. Boo! Every time I manifest dread, it's always removal and mana. Always. Alright, you give me the card back. That was dumb. I should have swapped those two. Oh well. Oh, that's such a good card. It's a shame you could only do it for one. Oh, surveil. That's fine. 
and a fast dread, put a 1-1 one, one counter, knock this draw 3, then discard a card, that's fine. Again with the meat locker. I don't... <sighs> Manifest Dread is an interesting mechanic. I don't know that I would say it's a bad mechanic. Um, let's do this first. you down, get the land to my hand, and we can play Oh, I need to be able to pay a green for it, that's funny. Turn a permanent from my graveyard to my hand, what we're just gonna get the Megalodon? Oh no, we're gonna get. Oh, this is Manifest Dread. Woo! Okay. Turn a permanent to my hand, just the Megalodon. And then we manifest <laughs> the doll shop. Alright, that's. What is this deck I have thrown together? This is dumb. need something here. Some kind of like... Unblockable something. <laughs> it, it's feeling a little bit like it's gonna be that way for me. As long as I can see the synergies and the cards that I'm pulling, I'm gonna be throwing decent decks together. We'll see how fast the meta shifts around this is the best deck, but I got a good feeling about it. Alright, we're just gonna do this now. Cast that Megalodon! And then you're the only attacker, my guy. And then the first thing he does is put counters on himself, and now he's lethal next turn. If he doesn't kill, he's going to be copy become a copy of the Megalodon, and I'm going to have a 7-9 Megalodon out on the battlefield. Well, you gained some life. You gained some life. Creatures you control have a base power and toughness, each equal to the number of creatures you control. So if I unlock that, this thing is just an 8-8 unblockable this turn, right? Like, fucking stupid. <laughs> Holy. 
Holy crap, the sealed set. <laughs> I don't want to play magic anymore. You win. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Oh, uh, twitching doll, huh? Nuts. This has just been nuts. This is fun. Um, over here, I guess. <laughs> Don't you do it. You leave my tutu alone. Could mill. You've got one. I'll put another creature in there. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. I'm gonna tap you and you. Alright, we're gonna start hitting some of these other put together decks that are gonna be matching the speed of mine. Um, Megalodon, you're so close. Two two death touch seems okay right now. Mill those cards. Tap enchanted creature, doesn't untap, shuffle enchanted creatures into its owner's library, manifest dread, activate it as a sorcery. No, I would rather no no. I can only do as it a sorcery, that's fine. And we'll do that. We will do that. Keeps me off Megalodon for just a little bit longer. No. Damn it.
Can't attack or block. <laughs> Can't be countered. Trample haste. Return it from the graveyard of the finality counter. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Ah, there's Megalodon mana. Hey, he made it! Nah, like I said, the green black delirium stuff seems pretty good. I wonder what the blue splash is for. We in a rough spot now. Oh, and it's going to be Death Touch Trample. Why would you give it to that guy? That was dumb. I think we're losing this one. <laughs> we, we had a really good just straight beat everybody down, curve out like a friggin' god game, and now we're just struggling. Can you mill the right card type? You mill, my guy. You mill. You want delirium this turn. If you can delirium this turn, you can haste this out and win. Yeah, there you go, Mill. No delirium, that sucks. Uh, well, that sucks too. Just <laughs> draw a card, do nothing. Terramorphic. That doesn't get you delirium. You already had a land. Oh, well, let's uh, meet locker. That. <laughs> if you hit delirium, you win. Oh, you went for the card draw. What are you missing in here? Creature, land, enchantment. No instant, no sorcery, no artifacts. There it is. Though I do think we are dead. No, I'm not going to let you kill me with your giant worm. <laughs> kill me with something else. Likely first loss after three wins. Can't be too upset. It was bound to happen. Other people get to put together really good decks too. <laughs> Man, it's almost like the perfect curve. Ooh, tap land. I think we play the glimmer. Wow, no hesitation, none. That was not what I was expecting.
You silly. Uh-oh, the dog's getting in trouble. We have delirium, no need to mill. It's a five man all together that I've got. We're one short on the megalodon. We're one short on the paranormal. I guess we're gonna go meat locker. We're gonna hit the 5-5, five five, and I'm gonna cast the detective. Get a little bit of a board stake going. I don't wanna get in for some cheap damage just yet. We're looking for one more land. One more land, and we just start rolling. What the dog do? How can you be so mean? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, there's my land. Um, honestly, because you're not attacking again, we're just going to go for it. We're going to turn you face up and we're going to attack with nothing, actually. That was bad. Because the Prowler doesn't give itself unblockable. I gotta remember that. Again, bestie. Uh, decline. Man, I need one more mana. Just one.
Actually, I don't need one. Yeah, I do. I need a white. Because I want to be able to do the twitching doll thing. This is an instant. You are not. Um, yeah, alright. We'll just unlock. Um, the patchwork, I think I want going. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want. And now when we crack the twitching doll, we get six creatures to add to everything. Like, he needs to kill the Twitching Doll this turn, or I'm pretty sure it's it's game over. No, it'll be 13, because we'll get another toy when we attack. Oh, and then I get Zamone for Primo. Yeah, this card right here is... <laughs> this card is insane. Just creatures you control have base power and toughness, each equal to the number of creatures you control. Like, excuse me? <laughs> You're just gonna turn all of my creatures into... Well, it's not a beast of burden, because that's all creatures on the battlefield, but basically a beast of burden for my side of the board? Like, this is insane. Especially when I get a parrot with this on turn two. Like, very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, this Bant deck has been silly fun to play. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all the colors of the deck. Oh, it's gonna be one of those games. It's gonna be one of those games. Come on, no more mana. <laughs> That's literally enough to play everything in the deck. If there are six or more card types, you could double the number of counter. What? What? Uh, 
enters or attacks. Holy crap. <laughs> What do you say, friend? Do you want to trade? <laughs> Beast of Burden is a good name drop. <laughs> Meglanoth into the graveyard, huh? Would you like to surveil again? I'll kill that dog. I'm gonna get that dog. How many Megalonoths did you get? And I hope you don't have a way to get them back. Well, we want Zimone. There's no delirium yet. We don't have to worry about the fly trap just yet. It enters manifest dread, then attach the tools. Has two plus two. Death Touch and Lifelink, huh? Interesting. Uh, land, enter the battlefield under your control this turn, and you have a prime number of lands. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to hit a land off the ledger sh or the head shredder here this turn. So let's crew up with Zamone. We're gonna swing with both. The Prowler will make the 5-5 five, five unblockable. We'll take the action. No! It's all right, it comes back, it comes back. Um. Not a whole lot I can do there. You're just gaining the life off of that. That's fine. I'm gonna manifest dread. <sighs> oh, that's the planes I needed for the doll maker. What? Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, that's so good, but now we lose Primo because we have eight. God damn it! <laughs> I just wanted Primo. Motherfucker.
sacrifice Zamon to re-equip your equipment. Oh no, they got Primo. <laughs> Uh, I think we have lost this game. Unfortunately. Milling my land and missing out on my Primo trigger for them to do the thing that I wanted to do. And that kind of sucks. Now that kind of sucks. <laughs> we'll take the L and move on. Love to see that right there. This is pretty cool too. I will say this is some of the most fun I've had not playing black in a long time. <laughs> No! How dare you? Uh, two counters. And then he's gonna copy the twitching doll. Oh, never mind, he's just gonna die. Um, man, I wanna play the Twitching Doll to get mana out, but I kinda just wanna return. You would, you would, just give me two lands, that's fine. I lose because I can't draw another land we're gonna be a little sad whenever he's dealt damage he deals that much to any other target and we have to do the thing You gonna hit that hall creeper again? You know you want to. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right, you got the nuts, cool. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I lost when I manifested Dread and it was two lands. If I wouldn't have done that, we would have been fine. Yeah, there's definitely a Grixis Runes deck somewhere in this set. I'm gonna find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flying thing that unlocks doors for free. Come on. What else you got? I'm not scared, you're scared.
All right, I'm a little scared. There's no need to mill, we draw. Yes, yes. <sighs> Unfortunately, we just have to pass. There you go, you have to do it as a sorcery. I know. I see your rooms. I'm not scared. You are. You want to draw a different card, or do you want to redraw your Razorkin Needle Butt? Yeah, that's what I thought. I want something else. You can't play it now, it's your end step. Thank you, my turn. Another land anyway. Get in there. Do it before Needlehead comes back. Um, boom. Unlock that big old door. Hit me for one more. Man. The is it ping bullshit. Oh, ping. Draw a card. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We are dead. We have lost this game. Dang. Okay, do I make three two twos this turn to guarantee the porcelain gallery next turn, or do I wait? No, I want to do this now. I want the three two twos with reach.
draw. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're not ready. Oh, if they can counterspell this, I'm fucked. That's... Yep. Alright, well, that sucks. So I needed to wait. I would have had the two mana. We would have been able to resolve it and activate it. Ugh. That was it. We needed that. That sucks. That sucks.